I had another talk with the German Chancellor, Herr Hitler. And here is the paper which bears his name upon it as well as mine. Could Hitler have been stopped? Could the Second World War have been prevented by bolder and more assertive action? Need Britain to have fought the Second World War at all? I don't believe that anything is inevitable, and yet it was going to be extremely difficult to have stopped Hitler once he came to power. Well, history is about what did happen, not what could have happened or should have happened. If you want to know whether a war with Hitler was always going to happen, the answer is yes. Was Britain going to be involved in it? That was Britain's choice. There was nothing inevitable about the period from 1933 up to 1939. I think if we look at the lessons of appeasement, we find that in the post-war world, everybody thinks it's a totally failed policy and Chamberlain is the laughing stock, if you like, of the, of the popular mind. Appeasement, which of course is such a dirty word now, certainly wasn't in the 1930s. Britain had built this empire. What was going to become of this empire? The Russians were out to destroy it. It was so obvious that uh, Hitler was a megalomaniac. This man, this ranting man, wearing a military uniform, with that silly moustache of his and the screaming voice, I mean, why didn't decision makers recognize that this man, of course, was going to plunge the world into the most terrible war in history the moment he had a chance? I think that the mistake that politicians have made since the Second World War is not to realize that appeasement from a position of strength can really work. And then more recently, the war on terror. We've just gone from this position of the Churchillian position, right, don't let's get them round and have a chat about what they did and why they did it, let's just bomb them. Let us therefore brace ourselves to our duties if the British Empire and its Commonwealth last for a thousand years, men will still say, this was their finest hour.